editing Mersey here and my lipstick is so bad. I look like the Joker in my video. I'm apologizing now, ain't changing. Hello and welcome back. It has been, it's been a month. Um, I don't mean since I posted. It's been insanely crazy. We have been overly sick. So much so, we missed a family vacation. We should be on vacation right now. And are we? Absolutely not. It stinks so much, but it is what it is. I finally am a little more upright. <clears throat> and so I was cleaning up my office today. Buying an aggressive amount of patterns. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Um, like 19. I bought 19 patterns today. It's fine. Um, <laughs> and so I thought I'd do a quick update. There's not a ton of stitching to be fair. March, I only did, uh, 3,759. Just not a lot to be fair. Uh, April has been rough. Let's just say that. April has been rough. Where are we at? Um, I don't even have it calculated. I don't have it calculated because it's been that rough. <sighs> Maybe 300. Maybe. Um, started on Easter Vigil, uh, the 30th of March. My husband literally left in the middle of church because he was so sick. Temperature 106. Um, found out he's probably had pneumonia for about three and a half months. So we're dealing with all of that. And then I got sick again and it was just, ugh. And then I've just been feeling really crummy lately. Um, so it is what it is. We are gonna start with the whips. I was cleaning it up today and realized one of the patterns I worked on this month, my Lady Justice, is not there. So, which means it's probably sitting at my mother's house because I go back and forth between the two houses. But I only got 77 stitches done on that one, so to be fair, not terrible. <laughs> That I don't have her. Um, I just did more block stitching. Uh, then I worked on my Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs by Dona Stitch. And that one I got 569 stitches done. Super happy uh, with how this is turning out. Uh, this is your PSA to export your pattern keeper. Uh, one of my, my dearest stitching friend had hers implode over the weekend. It was great. Um, and when I opened this one last month, the pattern was gone. I had to rechart everything I've done. So that took quite a bit of time too, but I finished these off and all of this. So, it was not bad at all. I do have the entire collection from Dona, and I intend on doing them at some point in my life. Do I know when that is? Absolutely not. And that's my bottom stuff I need to fix. Then, let's jump a little When then words are helpful, I worked on my Wicked Witchcraft because I got my hair done. And so then I worked on that for a while. That one I got 872 done. And we are now all the way here. So this is like a page, fin I think, page finish. No, it's not. 
I lied completely. But we are, the next time she comes out, I'm going to, my focus is this, and then we'll be halfway done. So only like another five years. It'll be fine. For the record, I only stitch on this the day I get my hair done. Um, and then a few days after until I'm ready to swap projects again. Um, so there's that one. Then finally, this is a new start. And apparently I'm chaotic today and that's okay. Um, so this is Whimsical Advent Calendar. This is a new start for me. Since, well, new, since you guys have seen it. Um, so far I've gotten about 2,500 stitches done on it. So my goal is to have this done by November. So I have a month to finish it. I'm going to be finishing them in flat folds to hang on a wooden, wooden, wooden advent tree that my husband and I have. And this will be our advent calendar. Um, so here we go. And I drop it. It's great. But. And I have a problem with this. So. Here we go. Um, I just did a quick back stitch to get the general shape. So when I cut it all out, I know where the center is. And so we started. We've done six so far. I'm on my seventh. So we have numbers. And then we have a tree. Tea, some snowflakes, a rabbit, a wreath, which I'm going to put a little wooden bowl in. And, oh, that's probably um, either holly or mistletoe. But um, I kind of just threw my specialty threads at it and said, ooh, I like that. So we did that. But we have a problem. Um, and the problem is this, I am using, um, a color and cotton dark indigo for the main border and all of that. Well, it's not on their site. It's not on one, two, three stitch. I'm going to run out. So I am now watching eBay lots and checking Etsy and I'm about to have to start calling stitching shops and seeing if they have any in stock. So that will be super fun because I love phone calls so much. My anxiety does not. My anxiety, ooh, scissors falling, does not appreciate it at all. So. So we have an aggressive amount of haul today and literally today. I have two things from before today <laughs> and this is like April 16th. So first I have my cottage of the month or House of the Month, Fabulous Houses, Series 4 by Cottage Garden. And this is the cottage. I am getting this through shipping with uh, Hummingbird Citry, Tiny Hummingbird Citry. I'll have them linked below. It's Sammy J here on Floss Tube. And I'm so excited. The one that I literally paid for yesterday, I think it was yesterday, is going to be um a hobbit hole and i'm so excited i cannot wait the other thing i have bought before today is from yvonne's stitching world jesus christ cross um i bought this on easter i am um 
Catholic. I work for a church, actually, Catholic Church. I um, am the secretary there as well as one of the lead musicians and singers and I guess the best way to put it. It's, I do a lot of work. End of story. Um, and so I wanted a project I could just leave at the church and do like 10 stitches every time I'm in the church for work uh, to see a literal progress throughout the year of my faith, my religion, and all of that. And so I think that's going to be a fun project. And then Small Town Stitches, Leanne. I got halfway through her latest video and I literally stopped and started buying things. I lied. I bought something before even that from her. One ring. So we know I have a massive Lord of the Rings piece. My husband is a huge fan. We listen to the books every night while he's sleeping. And as most men are, they sleep a lot easier than women do. And so I hear a lot more of it than he does. That and Wheel of Time. Like, those are his two. And so, um, I have that one. Then, from Country Magic Stitching. Stitch? Stitching? Stitchery? Some form of that word. Well, I bought 11 Lord of the Rings pattern. Six Star Wars and two miscellaneous. So... Uh, let's see if I can actually get through these and pronouncing them. Arganoth? Probably wrong. Erebor? Erebor? Oh, I can't, the, my ring light is like shiny and I can't read my screen easily, so that's fun. Then we have Helm's Deep. Isengard. Lothlorien. Minas Tirith, Mines of Moria, Mordor, Rivendell, Rohan, and the Shire. I have a feeling I'm starting the one of these May 1st. I, I'm not sure what order I'm going to go in yet, but I think I'm going to get my birthday is the end of May and I got room for some stitchy, some new starts. I have room for four more new starts without having to buy bags. So at least four are happening because <laughs> I am, I'm in a start phase right now, which is weird for me because I avoid starts like the plague because that one's starts are rough for me and I have anxiety over it. It's going to fit if I measured right 50 times. It's great. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to be starting one of Lord of the Rings on May 1st. And then I'm going to be starting one of my Star Wars ones on the 4th because May 4th is Star Wars Day. Um, and so for Star Wars, I got that's uh, Best Pin. Dagobah, Endor, Hoth, Naboo, and Tatooine. I am loving these colors. This is our office. My husband has a lot of wall space. I have less wall space because of a big window right behind you. And so... I was going to do it so that way I could like switch one of his Lord of the Rings out every month. But then I was talking with Leanne and she convinced me and he's gonna love it. I'm just gonna do like a big mural situation with like all of them <laughs> over his desk. He has a big L-shaped desk. I have a long and aggressively large straight desk. And so then I'll swap out my Star Wars as we go. Then, I also got two more. I got Gotham City. I'm so thrilled. I love this Art Deco style. I believe it's Art Deco, if I remember right. Um, I love just the blocks of color. 
and the black stitching will be pretty nice too. And then finally, I have I Love Lucy. Um, she is Lucy Ball was my icon in general. I adore her. I love the 50s aesthetic and all that. I'm definitely a modern 50s wife. Um, I, I only work 12 hours a week. And so the rest of it, I am helping take care of my mom. Um, who has some health battles that we're dealing with and I'm disabled so my own health battles, but the rest of it, I cook from scratch. I am a rather good cook. And, um, so I do a lot of cooking and cleaning, all that householdy stuff. So, uh, she is my style icon. I love her. She was such a boss. Oh my gosh. Um, most people just know her as I Love Lucy. She is quite a different story. Um, Star Trek would have never happened without her. That's all I need to say there. Um, it's probably a lot more I need to say there, but <laughs> she is actually one of the pinnacle reasons why CBS go ahead, did the first go ahead with the first series of Star Trek. Um, pretty incredible. So, Yes, so I love her and so I'm going to stitch that up and I put it up where I get all of my, um, where I get ready in the morning with my hair and my makeup and everything, put it right there. I think it's really cute. So this has been a different energy video for me than most. I'm finally getting there. I can tell I am tired and out of breath and ready for this whole crud to be over with. Our windows are open. Our neighbors are putting on a new roof today. Uh, husband's been out working in the garden all day and working in his little gardening shed and all that. So it's just been a good day. A happy day. Okay, update. Um, yeah, I didn't get that out in April. Um, and I found, uh, like, Kitty projects and found some empty bags and so now we're starting 10 things in May so that's a thing so let's go through what we're starting um let me go in the order that we're starting so let me jump over here so today is May 1st and I'm going to be starting my Shire piece and so that is this one have everything pulled and so as soon as i'm done filming i'm gonna start because i have a long day today at work that's starting may 1st because today is hobbit day yes mm -hmm. um and i'm starting this lord of the rings one with um Leanne at Smoke on Stitches. Um for Lord it's Lord of the Rings and not Hobbit Day. Sorry. Hobbit Day is in October, I think. Um so we're starting that today. I'm actually listening to some of the audiobooks while I'm stitching. So that will be super fun. Then tomorrow I start my Cross of Flowers. And this one even has a key snap in it, so this is going into my desk drawer at work. So that's just going to live there, and I will stitch like 10 stitches every day I'm in, I work. Um, then on the 4th, we're starting my visit best bin. And my lunch is done. Done. It's ding ding. So that will be this one. Then we're going to jump, then we wait like a whole week before we start my bitter brew. And that's in this one. Uh, this is the bunting ones that I'm going to end up doing eventually. I think I have one or two done. I, I think I have two done. I know I have at least one done. So there's that. Then... 
we're going to do loads of fun which is the second in my laundry series which is tie dye death star and literally all but one of these i have no two one i fully kitted outside of the ones that i already talked about doing and I have one more I need to pull floss for, which I will do after, probably tonight, to be fair. Um, then, I plotted certain ones out for certain days. Then I will do doing my cryptid, which is the one I still have to pull floss for. Um, and that's my glow in the dark way. I'm amazing. So, uh, that's all told. So, no, I have everything fully kitted. Um, then we jump over to Pinewood Farm, which is my sixth in my farmhouse series. Then, the last week of May is kind of busy. So, first, we have one ring starting Memorial Day, which is also my parents' anniversary. Um... So, I'll be starting that one. That one's from Tilt and Crafts. And I believe Small Tom and I are both starting it that day. Then. What are you? Yes. Then I'll be starting Metamorphosis by Ink Circles. Uh, that was also a gift by Small Town. Um, and. I'm doing just a bunch of hand dyes um, that I've always wanted to use, and so I think these are going to be a lot of fun. I'll show it off next month when I actually start it. Um, and ironically, so I bought this teal, it's a tealy bag, but it's the same pattern as the blue one that Small Town made me. I think that's absolutely hilarious. And lastly, we will be doing the I Love Lucy one. So, those are my 10 starts for May. And that's my plan. And I got, like, no stitches done in April. And that's okay. And my husband keeps creeping on my shoulder here. And we have one more surprise in our household. This is Rose. She is our puppy. And I say puppy as yeah, she's four years old very interesting circumstances how she came to us and she is now our baby and so we're adjusting to new household with a pet so um so now that will actually be the end of this video sorry this feels rushed i'm just trying to get it done so i can finally edit everything i had to get a cord and life was just going crazy and i just never got around to it so i could actually edit my video from last month and so now I'm actually going to do it in May so two months for the price of one so and I don't think it's doing too bad I think we'll still be under 30 minutes so I'm not too bad so all right finally thank you so much for those who have watched this far those who subscribe and follow you are appreciated more than you know and I hope you are having a wonderful and colorful day